Hey, hi, this is YJ, long time no see. Um, I'm coming on board today to tell you a little bit of a story. Most of you might know that I um, created a company called Slingshot Technologies. And I don't know if I've ever told you as to why I chose that name, Slingshot Technologies. I was coming out of being employed in a firm I really liked, a leading firm in um, Lagos, Nigeria. And um, I had very little money for one reason or another. I had, um, even though I'd saved, family issues, um, pressures of life, they kept supping away all the money I had intended for my project. So I had I decided to start this company called Slingshot Technologies and I was I had about a hundred dollars in my pocket or the equivalent of and everybody was looking at me like you're crazy why don't you just stay in this job why don't you stay where you are you've got security they're happy for you to stay you love what you're doing but I knew I knew it was time for me to move to doing something else I knew it was time and there was really no point because I'd really prayed on this issue there was really no point in me staying because I'd done what I was I felt I was meant to do for that firm and they were really not m ready to move to the next zoom level that I felt they required because they really didn't have to so I thought it was time for me to move on and create my own firm with my shoestring br budget and my bright ideas I now embarked on going out to form this firm and I had luckily um, a particular partner who's who could s who felt that I had what it would take to build this firm and I sat down and I thought about it and these are the things I thought about I had very little money so I was gonna have to use technology to give me the edge so that I could compete with all these and there were many male-led bigger companies they had been in existence longer people knew the the faces that led them and listened to them I was a small company I had very little cash I was a female um, entre entrepreneur CEO leader I had great ideas but I had to somehow project my ideas through this wall of big male male led strong companies well known for, and established and I thought the only way I could do this was using technology the only way I could really do this was using technology because I had very little money to employ all these funky marketing ads um, people going out to to canvas on my behalf so I sat down and I really thought hard and I realized that I was the David and they were the Goliaths and that is how I came up with the name slingshot technologies I was a tiny David in a sea of technology companies that were well established well connected they were male led I was a female CEO just embarking on being an entrepreneur I had hi hi James I had very little money I had great ideas and I decided that technology was the only way I could actually project my company so that it would appear like a big company and be able to compete with all the the Goliaths out there now why am I telling you this story because we're entering a new season we're entering post COVID season and we're coming out of the storm but in coming out of the storm so many things have changed people are losing their jobs we've lost loved ones um, people are, are, are not sure what's going to happen tomorrow businesses that felt that they had the the, the they, they were established forever have been rocked some have even been knocked down and some of it are even going the new business environment has transitioned from being the business environment where you walk down a high street or go to an economic center and do business to being online and I'm being I said I wouldn't do this I said I wouldn't do this in 2020 but I'm being pushed by a desire in my heart to say that look guys let's walk this walk together you've got to embrace technology there is so many free technologies out there that can help you move into the right arena into the right business environment into the online community into the community where your youth are and you need to be able to speak to them speak for them and guide them mothers fathers pastors educators business people you really do need to move online it's not a choice anymore it's not an option it's a necessity 
So I thought I would put this video out this morning just to sort of reinvigorate people to look. There are webinars coming up and I will do a few and I believe you should, they are free. Mine are always free when I put them out as webinars. You need to sign up for these. Get your skills up there. Learn about the online. Embrace the online. Begin to build your, your digital products. Begin to put yourself out there so that you won't get left behind. If you have a message to share, you need to be online to share it. Kids are getting messages from one point of view. If you are not online, you are negligent because you are not there to add another dimension for both old, young, and everybody to hear from you. So, if you please think about this, I'll be putting out more videos throughout this week and I'll be putting out a webinar free of charge to teach you how to first of all bring yourself online by sharing your story, by sharing your co conversation, by sharing your concept, your product, your business. In a two hour webinar, I will take you from zero to having a live we um, WordPress blog up there. If you feel you want to engage in this, there'll be links in, in the comments. But for now, this is YJ, just reminding you that the seasons are changing and that like, when, when seasons change, we need to change with it. We shouldn't be afraid of the changes. We need to embrace them, upskill, get online, get equipped to add our voice to the many voices out there so that we can create balance, so that we can create continuity, so that we can create growth, and so that we can even create an income and a pension for the future. Take care, all of you. Stay safe. Stay wise. Keep going. Don't give up. This too will pass and greater things will come. Bye.